LaSala in 77 games, Q. Now it's up to a handful of folks, a couple of transfers, one of them, Anthony Gobriel. He transferred in from Navy, and he takes the opening draw. Shirted last year after a very high-level recruit two years ago, so 13 to white, a first chance to see him and Jack Boyd. The transfer from Tufts, and he gets knocked off his feet. To Isaac Aronson, team captain, 22 in blue. Here's Ronda, one of the transfers from Princeton, 19. Tough pass inside, quick shot, and Nunes with the save. Our first opportunity to mention Matthew Nunes. It's a good look at the must wins to continue their season last year. Aronson trying to get free up top. Beautiful time, double team. Loose ball on the wing. We're going to get a loose ball push. And it looks like it's going to go by Schroeder. I guess that's going to be a hold against Michigan. 49, right. John Schroeder, just a perfectly timed double team. When you see the back of the jersey, you see the name on the back. Schellenberger not wanting to wait for substitutions. Now he gets it over to Griffin Schutz. Schutz behind the cage to Millen. He'll take a GLE all the way to the sideline. Now he looks to dodge. Behind the shoulder. Bounces up into the stick of Hunter Taylor. Especially a game of this magnitude. This is a huge game nationally this week. Yeah, you see they Virginia beat Michigan last year to open the season. Beautiful play by Schroeder. Here come the Wahoos. The fake pass over to Connor Schellenberger, and it's Terenzi who scores. Let's not sleep on Joey Terenzi. This D Mitty, apparently, Q, you were telling me this before the game, had a great scrimmage against Navy. He was the talk of that game, and he opens up Virginia's account in 2024 with a goal. And he's going to be a huge, huge fan favorite in Charlottesville. This starts with a gorgeous over the over the head check. The lefty John Schroeder. A red shirt sophomore, balls on the carpet, and you're off to the races. Joey Terenzi scored three goals against Navy in a scrimmage two weeks ago. He's got a motor. He is relentless. The pump fake to the point man. They buy the fake, and look at that. That opens up all sorts of real estate, and he buries. Talk to the coaches about it. Like, it's just no way that that's going to continue. Just has to shoot his way out of it. They really like the work he did in the offseason, though. On this Virginia roster, they go from complimentary players to now primetime players. Schellenberg has got room coming off a pick and scores. <laughs> it's a bread and butter play for Schellenberger. Chris, you called it well. The pick at X creates just a little hesitation and separation. A well-set pick right there. Has the defender, Whitney, now trailing. He's got to go on top of that pick. And so all of a sudden, you had two cars side by side. Whoop, Schellenberger's in front of Whitney. And he's way Virginia swarms on ground balls. Initially, Michigan had a three-on-two advantage on the carpet. But next thing you know, it's a three-on-three. And Terenzi's pulling the ball out. Schellenberger, Hunter makes the initial save, ball loose in front. Bodies flying all over the place, and we'll get a whistle. And a little oh, bit of a scrum, now some push oh, in, keep your, keep your poise here, keep your poise here. I tell you, that this week, there was a little kerosene thrown on the fire with Kevin Connery, Michigan's coach. Back to Millen in the, from X. Gets free, shoot, scores. Pull the ball out of the net, Q. Bring that one out, his first goal as a member of the Virginia Cavaliers. McKay Millen, welcome to the big dance. Welcome to the party. Again, it's a well-set pick right there that changes the matchup, creates space. The defense has to switch. All of a sudden, Millen draws a short stick midfielder. He's able to turn the corner, and he got some good power and some pop. Corey with Pedersen, holds nice him up just team. enough for help to come. 
Woo! Yard Harrison sale in Charlottesville. And a flag oh, comes in late. Yeah, we got a flag on the far side. Bodies. This is an opportunity for Michigan to find some chemistry, some flow, to get something going positively and oh. Inside, there it is. Justin Tiernan. Should settle the Wolverines down, as you said, Tiernan, the transfer from Lehigh, 55 points a year ago. He's a righty, inside presence. He's just gonna hover inside here. They go two inside men, you can see Bame just a little north of, of Tierney. Which I know you as a goalie, the thud hurts a lot more than the ping. Luckily today it's 59 degrees. I mean, you're playing in 30 and 40 degree temperatures. Ouch. <laughs> Mellon gets free, scores. And pays plus the price one. afterwards. Plus one, he got buried, no flag, I'm shocked. Michigan's defense has proven to be inept covering these picks at X and you see the chirping going on and there is the flag down deserve it this is late and high Millen just blasts off this two-man game off this pick here it is again another pick Michigan's communication not there the slide is late and high you can't do that if you're Case Van Wees Final seconds. Cormier, he's just gonna have to let one fly. He does, and he scores! That's a gut punch right there for Michigan, Q. I tell you, it starts with Gobriel winning that face-off. And that proves critical here. And Virginia does such a wonderful job managing clock and score, but bigger is better. Look how Cormier just uses his size to bump and grind and get to the inside. The big man, Wrinkles. Uh, Kevin was a fierce, fierce midfielder for Duke University and in Major League Lacrosse. I mean, one of the all-time great competitors, played for Team USA. He's, uh, at Lehigh, he's been known to get the ball behind the goal a lot. They've always had solid goalie play, and I think he'll be wonderful teaching some of these young midfielders, so. Wild set, Bain's gonna get a look here. Only five to shoot. Mulholland's gotta make something happen here. Inside shot, Nunes oh, makes another wow. save. Just as the shot clock was winding down, Tiernan, I believe it was, had a great look. Much better team offense by Michigan, but Nunes, another body stop. Six saves and only one goal allowed. And now he's carrying the ball into the offensive end, finally giving way to shuts. Millen. Shoots, scores. What a debut already for McKay Millen. Matt Noons, the junior from Houston, Texas. I'll tell you, last year I thought sometimes he was leaning to his offside. Today he's making all the right reads. He's seeing the ball. And once again, an effective pick. Great down screen by 26, Griffin shuts. Millen runs hard. Yeah, Thursday Will is not morning. getting the minutes. And Michigan takes advantage, Bain inside. Both Michigan goals on the power play. Similar looks from top to the inside with a two-man crease. In a week one playing man down defense can be really difficult because you got no looks on tape and teams will come out and do entirely different formations that then you're ready for. And so you got to keep it really vanilla and just go by your rules. 
And then on the other end, Hunter Taylor makes a save. How about this tempo? Love it. Push it. The bull dodge is his specialty. 6'3", 220-pounder. Beautiful ball movement. Cormier scores! You absolutely have to love the turnout in Charlottesville today for this home opener, for this proud program. One of their signatures, early offense. They strike before the defense gets set. Do, you, do we need to see more picks to change matchups? Brown got his right hand free. That's a long distance shot though. Noon saw it all the way. I Virginia think Brown, looking to attack early. Yeah, I think Brown can be the go-to guy, Chris. I really do. That was a bit of a force. Terenzi's dangerous now. Three goals in that Navy scrimmage in situations just like this. Instead, a pole will take the shot. And Ben Weyer is back. Took a personal year last year. And this obviously his teammates love to see this. Loses it. Rugged cat. Recommitted. Terrific on ground balls. And Virginia scoring in every facet suddenly. Weller wins another draw. Michigan's got to take advantage, but another beautiful play defensively. That time it was Whalen. Chismar gets lit up. Fulton, will he take a shot? No, he gives it off to Schellenberger. That's smart. He shoots lefty and is wide. This, great action. This, this game is great, isn't it? <laughs> How about this? This time, Michigan with a nice defensive play. They come out of there with it. Van Wees, he gets checked away. Ball still on the ground. Wow! Full wow. does a nice job of dislodging it out of bounds, and it's Virginia's ball. I mean, look at the effort. Every inch of this field is being fought for. Guys are diving. The hitting, the passing. This game is awesome. These John Schroeder. New faces all contributing in a big way today. Another great job of ball movement oh ends up in the back gosh. of the net. Ryan Colsey with his first goal for the Cavaliers. Tell you, if, you're a young coach, if you're a coach, college, high school, youth, coming out of a timeout, you diagram this look right here. Colsey gets the layup. Congratulations to Ryan. But man, you talk about coaching. This is perfection. From top to inside to the wing. And it's tic-tac-toe. Kastner, 39 in white, seems to be spending a lot of time up top. Cohen. He has not been able to get anything going today. Well, there's your first six-on-six -six goal for the Wolverines. And it's Isaac Aronson who buries it. Little bit of announcer jinx there, Cotter. Right. Not if you're a Michigan fan. Needed that Step one down. big time. Step down for the far side, the senior from Bullis. Just uh, Virginia loses communication between 29 and 39. Kastner and Kologi just not communicating. They both take the guy. Nice pass by Noons. Millen gets it front. Unbelievable. His fourth of the day.
You talk about speed. Nunes delivers the long dime. And Millen in space. He just feels disrespected. Kicks it into turbo. Watch the speed. Right there, he leans in. Dives through the tangent of the crease, and he launches himself a good four yards. He's not in the crease. He does not land in the goal mouth. That goal will hold up. A lot more from 19 in blue. Very two-handed. Need to see more from this guy as well, Cohen. Good look inside. That's a great start for Michigan. Tiernan finds it. Tiernan off a screen set by 22 Aronson. And Bain puts this one right on the money. This is similar to what we showed you earlier in Virginia's offense from a year ago. That inside action. How the two players are off ball, you'll see. Scissors cut. Aronson sets the pick. Defender brushes off the shoulder. And Tiernan catches that at about four yards and changes level. So just uh, awkward with the assist. Tiernan with his second. for the loose ball, finally picked up by Virginia. Cavaliers will look to run. Terenzi, the extra pass, and finished by Cormier. Terenzi's such a weapon. This is a great example of Virginia just beats you down the field with snappy passing and their defenders are taught to run from the top of the box down to the, the opposing team's crease. So they don't decelerate at the top of the box. They finish their runs down low. Watch Terenzi on this play. This is a nice pass out of traffic right here. You find your wing. Caster doesn't hesitate. Look at Terenzi, five. Watch how he runs, catches, moves it on, and Cormier is able to sting it. Terenzi's been such a weapon. Second. I had Matt on my podcast over the winter, and he talked about Kevin Cassis, the new offensive coordinator, and the impact that he's had shooting on Matt. Babe, oh, what a goal! Will it stand? It does. Got under two defenders' cue. Perhaps a little momentum. Kevin Connery saying, whatever happens today, it's important that we come together. And you see the huddle after this goal. Bame's got the short stick matchup. That has not happened enough. He does a really nice job of dealing with the double team. Ben Weyer is there. Watch 44 take an angle. And Bame's got to shield his stick, launch himself in the air, and manage to stay out of that interior. Both teams took a little while to settle in this afternoon. This is the season opener for both of them, but once they did, we have gotten some entertaining lacrosse. Michigan's defense seems a little more buttoned up now. They've had issues playing two-man games. Shuts. Good job getting off. Going to get a flag and a goal. Shuts got pushed, was able to get it to Boyd. Boyd buried it anyways. Boyden's got major amounts of craftiness in his game. He's got all sorts of behind the back sidearms, multiple releases. See Rowan Clay, the freshman from Culver, really a highly recruited and respected player, guilty of the push. And 157 points in 23 games last year. That's stupid. Gabriel, Schellenberger, score! Boy, have we seen that before for Virginia? How many times with Petey LaSala? And in this case, with Sala, he's moved on to the whips in the P.O.L., so it's Anthony Gobriel's turn to find one on the wing and bury it off the faceoff.
say Gobriel was a great high school running back at Highland Park in Dallas. They, they have a uh, just a, a huge, huge high school football program. Spent a couple of years at Navy, and now he's a transfer Fogo here at Virginia. He's done. Lay the foundation now if you're Michigan now by how you play over the last 23 minutes. Feel good when you get back on the bus or the plane. Tough angle shot, Bo Lockwood. Sniping. A sophomore from Heartland, Michigan, which is a town north of Ann Arbor. Bo Lockwood crafted his lacrosse skills on the family farm in between bale and hay and taking care of the animals. He's a guy last year, played in 10 games. Cross double header here, Clemson women coming up next against Davidson at home. Cohen up top. Noon sees it all the way. Rebound comes up to Tiernan who finds the back of the net. First time today that Michigan has scored back-to-back -back goals. First it's Lockwood. And one man's trash, another man's treasure, Tiernan. I think you've been waiting for the entire game for Michigan to make something happen up top against the D-Middies, this midfield unit. Make them play haven't picks. Been able to get, get anything done. Look at that pass, the terrible pass behind Cohen. Turnover. And now this is where Virginia's been lethal today. Good look. Shot bounces it high, race to the end line. It stays with Virginia as McCabe Millen won the race. Closest to the ball on a shot when it goes out of bounds, gets possession. Good look, scores. Will Corey. Well, we've seen the, the athletic prowess of freshman McCabe Millen, but here you get a great example of how smart a player he is. You talk about being restart ready. Okay, he wins the race to the end line, and then as soon as the whistle blows, he doesn't hesitate. He jams the ball to Chismar, who moves it on one more, and yet again, the Cavaliers score with their defensive midfield on the field. But I can't give a Millen enough credit for just getting that ball back in play and realizing that the Michigan defense wasn't perfectly set up. Look at the dive on the left. So he wins the race. Questionable call, but he still works. 17 and 10. Senior year, Palo Alto, California. Well, you're not going to stop that. I mean, Peyton Cormier, it's too good of a look for a goal scorer like Cormier. Back to back 50 goal seasons. He's on his way to a third. The autopsy report meeting there defensively. You, you, you see that. Left side of your screen, watch 13, you take a half step, you're, 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 you're toast. It's, should I stay or should I go now? And you take one step and it gives Cormier just enough space to catch and finish. That's what... If you retain possession, if a shot hits the goalie or the crossbar or the upright. Shuts. Tough angle, but he scores anyway. Six three two twenty junior now out of Deerfield. Forty points a year ago. A bulldozer. When he sets his line there, when he sets his trajectory running downhill towards the pipe, you got problems defensively. You, you've got to veer him towards the pipe. We felt they, felt they felt like they had a real advantage there. The advantage has gone all the way to Virginia. Sunderland. Not a shorty on him. 
Cotter, I think we should mention Patrick McIntosh not in the lineup for the Cavaliers today. Yeah. Out with an injury. Schellenberger's defender falls down, doesn't have any kind of an angle. Instead, he puts it up front to Cormier, whistles it wide. McIntosh, kind of a breakout year. Last year, 17 goals, nine assists, got a nagging injury. He'd be in the mix, top uh, seven, eight, or nine player. More minutes for guys like Sunderland. Cormier, oh, forget about it. He's a big man. He is a big man, and when he decides what he wants for dinner, you better get out of his way because he just takes this one, pass goal line extended with momentum, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's, he thought he had a little bit of a slow start in the first quarter, but since then he has, he's played a very, very strong game. Peyton Cormier, Ontario, Oakville, now a grad student. Right here, he makes up his mind. He's got a shorty on him, and there's just nothing you're going to do about it. You, you've got to go there and make him a passer. Ben gets by his defender. Aronson gets the goal. Play made by Bain, who beat his defender high. And Michigan closes the gap tonight. Aronson's had a strong outing. That's the one time today that Schroeder pays the price for a sloppy over the head. Bain kicks it to the wing. The double team is just a... Two beats slow, ended up playing for the chaos in the PLL. And we saw a lot of offensive highlights there for good reason, but defensively for Virginia, you know, another newcomer, John Schroeder, five ground balls and three caused turnovers on the day. He's been sensational. Brown shoots and scores. That has to make Michigan fans feel pretty good right there. Number one in blue. We talked about his shooting woes last year. But he finds the back of the net here. This this is terrific. Now a senior from Half Hollow Hills. Two years ago, I remember he had five goals in a game against Penn State. The fastest player on the roster. A little shake and bake in the corner, a little split left to right. Speed can create separation. Like this shot. Cohen on Schroeder. Very Tough nice. Tough angle, but Mulholland scores anyway. Very nice. Love this set. Chris, I love this set. Wish we had seen this a little bit earlier. It's a little two-man game behind the goal that all of a sudden you get these Virginia defenders who have just been just uh, suffocating on ball. You ask them to make some decisions. It's a switch. And then they can't get back. And, and so Jaeger gets caught in the wash there a little bit. And an advantage is gained. So I, I think when you're playing Virginia this year, you've got to do things like that. Because they're on ball defense. To make that play out of the crease. Here's that play again. They ran off the timeout earlier with the three-man weave. Over the back shot and score. Jack Boyden. I believe you called him crafty earlier in the game. There you go. Prime Minister of Trickeration. This guy's going to be uh, all Twitter team this year. I guarantee it. All TikTok and all Instagram with some of the goals that he can score. It's a, a screen set for Cormier, and then he rolls off of it. Watch right here, he rolls to the inside. And that's the time and place. That is the time and place. Cormier harassed. Gets knocked down, but scores anyway. Will they count the goal? 
I think the whistle came before the shot. Still, though, man. Timeout. Virginia called a timeout. Still, though. Well, Virginia's back in the mix, man. This program's not going anywhere, but towards the top. No one shoots. Score. That's five. Matching five. Gourmet's five. He runs around you, he dives over you, and this time he breaks the stick. Virginia's new number nine. Watch the cross check. Pop, Pedersen. Can't tell you how many times I saw that happen last year. How many goals that we see caused by defenders who Shaft breaks in. Charlottesville will bring that game over to the ACC Network. Cohen shoots, scores, finally 40 in blue on the board. Terrific skip pass. I think it was 27 in blue. Aiden Mulholland. Yeah, so Cohen gets right his first goal. Money. Yeah, it's going along with three assists on the day. Cohen, who had 57 points last year. Look at this pass. It's right on the money. He's able to jump shot that. It looked like Morris may have gotten a piece. Very difficult to come off the pines, the bench, late in a game like this. Earl. Certainly got their money's worth and let the Wahoo players know their appreciation for the effort. Our final score, 19-11. Virginia with the win over Michigan. Virginia travels.